Partisan hate is becoming a national crisis. Editors note the opinions in this article are the authors, as published by our content partner, and do not necessarily represent the views of MSN or Microsoft. I want to begin this piece with a word of praise for Nancy Pelosi. In an interview with Taking Her Words at Face Value, Pelosi is doing something that more politicians should do when making a momentous decision you considering the consequences not just for one's partisan tribe but also for the health of the American body politic. Striking this bout this morning the Athamas Edsel published an A highlighting A Atha analyzed the extent of lethal mass partisanship. As Edsel observed, we hear quite a bit about dehumanizing rhetoric in American public life. Well, it ap I wonder where those numbers would be if our nation hadn't been extraordinarily lucky in the last two years. Yes, luck. In a time of crisis, American citizens often look for guidance and take their cues from the subset of American citizens who are most engaged and informed. Yet study after these statistics and studies confirm our personal experiences. I speak and write given the extraordinary complexity and difficulty of most political and cultural challenges, American activism and political engagement should be marked by humility and openness to opposing views. After all, but I suppose if you believe that your opponent is more jackal than human, then there's no real need to engage you except to destroy. All the interesting there is a link between the lethal fantasies Edsel outlines in his piece and the more widespread impulse to merely ruin the careers and livelihoods of our people we despise. At the edges, it's in this atmosphere that I am increasingly of the view that the vanishing, bipartisan class of civil libertarians represent an important ingredient in the glue that keeps America together. The fundamental idea, and crucially, it also has to educate. There is simply no way we cannot keep relying on our good luck to avoid a true crisis of division and potential violence. I am skeptical.